Well, good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning. Time to wake up and make the coffee. Coffee's ready. Wow! Yeah! I slipped in a little bit. Well, that's the first time I used to use the letterbox. While we're on the go, I didn't know if he would. But now I'm glad I put it in here for him. Welcome to Atlanta. Here's your traffic jam. You see this overcrowding right now? Stop and go traffic on this, what is this, eight lane highway? All this overcrowding? All of this is happening at two o'clock in the afternoon. This city is nothing but one big parking lot all the time. If any of you watching this video are trying to decide if you want to move to Atlanta, look at this. This, this is a weekday. This is what it's like all the time. If you really want to come to Atlanta, like the media is trying to tell you, oh, go to Atlanta, it's the, it's the new Hollywood, there's so much opportunity. This is what you're going to get. You're going to spend most of your time waiting in lines and, and traffic jams and being asked for money by homeless people and waiting at traffic lights and waiting at long lines in the grocery store. Long lines, traffic jams, homeless people. That's that's what you're gonna get, a lot. I grew up in this, this is my hometown. This is where I grew up. It wasn't like this when I was a kid. It became like this after the Olympics, after the Braves won the World Series, after, after we got the Walking Dead and the Tyler Perry Studios, all this stuff. Brought so much attention to Atlanta, and everybody's like, oh, we gotta move to Atlanta, we gotta move to Atlanta. So, so it came a, a, a viral fad. I wanna move to Atlanta. So much opportunity. No, no, we're full. They are full. This place sucks. Look at this little guy. Yes, I know. He's decided he likes that uh, armrest a little more than I need it. I guess it was a good idea to go ahead and get rid of the carrier. He likes walking around the cab. Well, I'm down in South Georgia now, getting a lot closer. Weather's getting nice and toasty and warm. Um, I thought I'd turn the camera on for just a second to talk about something that I found really annoying on my travels. And that is a lot of people out in these public areas, grocery stores, gas stations, places like that, saying, excuse me, for no reason at all. Um, you know, when it, it, I always understood that excuse me meant I would like to get by, I don't have enough room, please move so I can get by. Excuse me. Uh, but I've noticed a lot of people walking by with plenty of room to get by and saying excuse me anyway. What am I supposed to be excusing them for? I, I don't understand. And why are you forcing me into uh, this interaction with a total stranger when I was already thoughtful and considerate enough to move aside and make sure there was plenty of room for people to walk by. And you're going to force me into an interaction anyway? I, I, I don't get this. Uh, so it just happened again. And here in this Love's truck stop, uh, I was turning around to get some creamer for my coffee. And being aware of my surroundings, saw somebody coming and did not get out in front of them. Left them plenty of room to go on by before I crossed the aisle to go get my creamer. And they, of course, said, excuse me. So finally I said, this is after a long time of this being an annoying thing to me. Finally I said, why did you say excuse me? Um, and she says, well, I didn't want you to... 
back up into me, which I'm not sure exactly why she said that because I was facing her front ways. I didn't want you to back up into me because I was holding, she had a coffee brewer thing and it was hot. Which, um, I think the proper thing to say if you're afraid of somebody bumping into you is on your left or behind you, just, re you know, on your left, like that, or on behind you, because that way I don't have to, you know, force myself into this interaction. It's just a little beep beep. But, so apparently what's happened over these past few years, at least according to this, is this consideration of just saying, on your left, or behind you, right behind you, that has turned itself into, excuse me. I don't know why it happened. I don't know when this transition occurred, uh, but this is something that's happened. And it happens, I travel a lot of states, and it happens a lot in Indiana. People walking by with plenty of room to get past you, going, excuse me. Am I wrong for being annoyed at this? It, what am I supposed to be excusing you for? Stop saying excuse me for everything. When you think that you're in my personal space. Look, you can get in my personal space if you're just passing right through. That's fine. You don't have to say excuse me. Ah, I don't know. Leave a comment if this is something that's happened to you guys. I'm sorry for ranting about this. This is something that's been brewing in me for a long time. I, it's annoying to me. It is annoying to me. <sighs> well, we're here. We're in Florida. I've already gotten set up. This is the fair. Ride company is, is kind of small, but the locals like it. This is part of the reason why I really like this show. There's my camper right there. I can put my camper right behind my booth. So my commute is really, really short. <laughs> um, and then, right over there, the Brown Building, that's where the shower house is. Um, actually, it's around the corner on the other side of it. Let's go and take a look at that. Here's the shower house. This has got to be one of my least favorite shower houses of all the shows that I do. Uh, it's in here. As you can see... <laughs> The um, opening to the showers is wide open. If you're going to have a shower curtain, you've got to bring one in yourself, which that's what I'm going to do. And there's two shower heads in here. So there is the potential of somebody thinking, oh, well, there's two shower heads. I'll just go on in. And hopefully we won't have that happen. Back out at my booth now. Uh, the vendor parking area is actually way off over there in the little pine grove. That's going to be nice. i got to move my truck. Uh, we open up at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, so I'll have plenty of time to go to the office and get checked in, make sure all my paperwork is in order. Uh, so let me go ahead and end this vlog. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit the like button, rate, comment, subscribe. And um, again, if you're one of those people that says, excuse me, even though you've got plenty of room to go buy someone, uh, why why do you do that um, and if anybody's got any answers really because I'm as much as I'm annoyed at this uh, I'm still kind of curious as to why so many people do it so if you have any kind of answers to this please put it down in the comments and I will see you again on the next video